Can't believe I'm going to be actually making this video. Welcome back to the pair, everyone. Um, and obviously, everyone would have seen some of the stories coming out today and some of the um, reports linked with Travis Spoke and his future at the club. Um, it's obviously going to be a tough pill to swallow for everyone to see that alone. Obviously, it's not confirmed. It's not even been mentioned by many. It's just one story in particular. But it did get me thinking. Um, you know, this very much could be the start of the the rolling trend that is we seem to kick out our club legends or not give them an opportunity to finish on the terms they want. I look at Justin Westhoff. Um, obviously, Brad Ebert was unfortunate. Uh, Robbie Gray slowed down to a point where he decided it was it, but he got his grand exit. Um, I even go far back as Treaders with his, with his injury and um, how unfortunate it was for him not to finish out a career the way he'd like. And sometimes it just simply happens um, for club legends and, and stars of the game. They don't get to finish on their terms. But I think in a situation where you have a player like Travis Boke, in the capacity that he's been playing in, I think it's almost a no-brainer to re-sign him. I, I don't know why this is a question. Whether or not they see don't see eye to eye, or um, you know, is it to do with the contract, the longevity of it? It obviously would be one year. He's thirty-five years old, and you can't take a risk at that age, no matter who you are and what player you, you are or what you can be. Um, it's just frustrating, and it's really, it's really made me angry, and it's got me to a point where I'm sitting here going, the timing of this is terrible. Obviously, Kane Corns mentioned it on um, Footy Classified. Sam Edmund has run with it on SEN today, and it's, you know, it's exploding. Like fans are already agitated from the loss last week against Brisbane. We're facing a GWS side at home this week that could very much be um, a straight sets ex uh, exit. I attend open training today. There's a few fans there. It was really nice. Um, the atmosphere is quite eerie. There's almost an acceptance of even if we do win this week, we're not going to go any further. But to bring it back onto Boke, this is broken overnight. It's a story that has been stated that the club thinks Boke's done. He shouldn't have a contract for next year. Now, if I'm Port Adelaide and I'm looking at Travis and I'm looking at what he can produce as a player compared to what he could produce as a person, as a coach, it is an absolute no-brainer that he signs on for next year. If he plays 15 games in the AFL next year, so be it. He's a coach. He's a mentor for this young group. Look what he's done with Rosie and Butters and the few others that went over with him to the USA. He puts so much effort into his own performance and his professionalism. Exposing that to others and making sure they're taking up the same... Um, attitude and their task and making sure they're bettering themselves as a person and as, as a player. The fact that there's that mentality with him and the fact that there's a question mark over him getting a one-year extension compared to some of the players we've got on our list, I understand there's cutthroat decisions, but there is just simply stages and personnel that you pick, you time, and you make sure you give it to the right people. This would be a world-class mistake from Port Adelaide. You can't do that to a club star. It's regardless of whatever happens for the rest of 2023, you, know, it, you make a prelim, he ends up on 349 games. You're going to really linger him into the possibility of not playing 350 games for his football club. You open the possibility of him being uh, not being a one-club player anymore. Look, not many rivals would obviously take up a 35-year-old out of form, been sub multiple times this year. And I understand, I talk about the way Boke's performed. There has been instances this year where, well, yeah, he's been um, a little off. and hasn't been great. hasn't been to the standard we've expected. But obviously, we look at the start of the year. Preseason was interrupted with um, the hit with his ribs. Didn't play round one, was a sub in round two. Got better as each week went on once he played as the sub in round two. And we get to St Kilda at Marvel. Plays a best on ground performance. Continues on. Starts to play his role a little bit more. Is consistent. Misses a game. 
somewhere in the middle of the year, comes back, plays a really, really crucial role against the Dogs in the midfield. Then he misses a game with sickness. Uh, and then from then on, he's off the sub, he's in the team. And it is been an inconsistent season for Port. We know, um, not for Boke, sorry, not for Port, but we know what Boke's produced over a long period of time, especially the last five years, to come into this year and expect him to be at that level again at 35 years old. We know what he's capable of, but obviously it's not going to be to that standard. And I understand he might have lost a few things here. Um, you know, ground level hasn't been as great, but obviously the, the factor of his ribs and, and putting your head over the ball might not be as tough around the footy. Um, tackles haven't stuck as much, and you lose that as you get on. But then I look at some of the players around the league that are his age or around his age and his calibre, Pendlebury, arguably playing some of his best footy as well, but they're playing him in specific roles that he's capable of playing in, know what his um, characteristics are and know how crucial he is to the group. I look at Rory Sloan, who obviously changed his role around a little bit, hasn't been great, Crow supporters question whether or not he should go on, but gets a year. Bokes the same. Plenty people will obviously question his performances, but the way he's stuck by this football club through the toughest of times, there should not even be a question mark. He should be making his own decision about his future. So whatever happens from here, I just know that regardless of the circumstances of the season, unless we somehow miraculously go on um, and turn around and win a flag, which is unlikely. Realistically, that's unlikely. But at the end of the day... Like, if he turns it around, as like as in the football club, if we turn it around, go on to win the flag, Boke plays 350 games and then retires on his own merit. Perfect scenario. Worst case scenario is we're in limbo and we go out in straight sets and this happens to Boke. You talk about Oppenheimer. Different kind of breed this would be if this was to eventuate into something that shouldn't be there. Um... And yeah, obviously, like everyone knows that he's my favourite player. Everyone knows of the connection that I've had with the man. Um, it's just continuing to be let down in such a way where even as an individual player, it's, yeah, it just shouldn't be a question. Um, I'd like to know everyone's thoughts. Obviously, Twitter's been blowing up a little bit, people jumping at shadows. This could be shadows and this could be all wrong, but I wanted to make a video because I wanted to get this off the chest of, I know a lot of people will have this voice and this opinion. So let's just hope um, there is an agreement. There is a one-year deal on the table, whether it's 10, 15 games next year he plays. It's going to be more of a coaching mentor. It's a perfect role for him. Fitness guru, help out with the AFLW. Keep both connected within the club. Just the perfect person to have in your football club, whether it's on or off the field. That man needs to be around Port Adelaide next year. If this year doesn't work out too well, you want him around next year to make sure that we're in good hands to strive for a flag again. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, the preview will be out tomorrow for the game. Um, obviously, check out the glass table as well. And I'm sure there's more to come from this story. Plenty more to come. Because if, if it ends up being true, we've got a lot of celebrating to be done for a footballing career that's unmeasured. And then also a lot of uh, a lot of chat to be had as well. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide and content to come your way. My name's Anthony and as always, come book.